Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Today, we're going to be painting this figure of May. Alright, before we get started, I want to show you the statue that we'll be working with. This came off of the TN4 T200 3D printer. Now, I'm showing you this video, though I want to say this is the first time I've really painted a full-size figure like this and honestly I'm not the greatest painter but I thought I'd make the video and show you anyway. So I began by putting down some Vallejo uh, plastic primer. This is a uh, an airbrush compatible primer. It's very thin. It goes on very lightly. So I've done a few coats here. The model's looking really good. Then I've gone ahead and started to thin down some uh, flesh tone paint. I figured I'd put this on the face. Uh, you can see me testing it there, just getting it all ready. And then I've gone ahead and sort of airbrushed from a distance onto the face just to try and get some, some base skin tones down. And then after that, I've started mixing up some light blue. I put a little bit of thinner in, get a little bit of the blue in there. Um, I'm trying to just mix that up and get that uh, nice and thin. Uh, they say the consistency of milk or so I've sort of researched online. Uh, and there I go, I'm sort of painting her gauntlet, her glove, her Nintendo power glove, whatever you want to call that thing. Um, I'm just giving it a real light coat of this kind of baby blue color. I was trying so hard not to get overspray all over the model. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have done some masking before I did this, but uh, we'll, you'll see me kind of work to correct that later, uh, I suppose. Now I'm coming in trying to get some of the areas on her outfit that have that blue. I really should have mixed up a darker blue for this because as you know, she doesn't have any baby blue in her outfit. So this was really just wasted time, uh, but uh, learning from mistakes as we go. So uh, moving on. Mistake learned. I've mixed up a darker color of blue, which I'm gonna go over all of the blue that I did before. I'm just giving that a mix, thinning it down, I'm gonna get ready to spray that. And there I go, I've started doing her pants. Again, I've gone with a shade of blue that's just not dark enough. So uh, we'll be learning from these lessons as we move on. Hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll do some more of these videos if you guys are enjoying this. Um, and then, you know, maybe I'll get better at it, we'll see. Taking the form of a professional airbrush master, I continue to do blue. Now I've masked off the top half of the model, I've mixed up a brown and I'm just kind of like trying to airbrush the shoes. And this time I think I've chosen a, a fairly good brown. This brown actually matches what her character has for shoes. Okay, so I'm reusing that brown to go and do like the belt and the pouches and the sort of things that she's wearing on her waist. Uh, this was really hard. Like, I have a new level of appreciation for artists who work with airbrushes, like those guys that do the miniature, like Warhammer thing, Warhammer game. I don't, I don't know what, what they are, like Warhammer strategy games. Um, those really small, detailed, airbrushed figures. Those guys who do this, at that scale, with that level of precision, with this tool, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm no good at this. Like, this is my first time doing this for real. They have a skill level that is just insane. Maybe it's all technique, maybe it's all skill, but it's crazy to get that level of detail out of a tool that, it's basically like a paint shotgun. You know, <laughs> you point it, and you open it up and then paint just shoots out everywhere in front of you. To get that level of detail with a paint shotgun, I am thoroughly impressed. So with all my blues done, with all my browns done, you can see how much overspray I've got there. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, I've realized that because of the overspray, I'm gonna need to come back in and clean up the bits that I didn't uh, mask. So I've gone and got a brush now and some paint. And as soon as you start mixing the brush with the airbrush, like the, the physical bristled brush, um, and you start to overlap that paint onto the paint that was airbrushed, the quality of the model just tanks. Like 
it goes so far down. Like as soon as I started putting this paint on, I was like, oh man, I just ruined it. I gotta do the whole thing again. But it kind of turned out okay, but it's just, I think it's got something to do because like it goes on too thick. Um, so it might've just been that. But anyway, I went back around and I started sort of painting over the bits that I oversprayed the dark colors on, trying to bring them back to white. And obviously now I'm trying to put white on a darker color. So it never fully goes back to white. This is kind of where everything kind of started to go wrong. But overall, I'm still kind of happy with the quality of the model. Like if you're looking at it and it's on the shelf from a distance, it looks kind of good. Um, but again, like I said, first try, we'll, we'll, we'll get better at this. Um, the 3D printing side of things, I've got that down, but painting them is just a, it's a different story right now. And so after all of that, I went back and looked at my reference photo and realized that her legs are not blue enough. So I started to spray blue on and I didn't mask anything. And this is after I've gone back through and sort of airbrush, sorry, sort of brushed over all the whites again. Um, so you can see me making huge mistakes here, but I've, I've at this point, I've kind of got a little bit more control. Um, I'm working out like how to use the airbrush without really making such a mess. Like I've, I've got a bit more control over the air speed and a little bit more over the paint speed. And then back here, I just started like blasting it just because I'm trying to get, you know, I, I got, I, I started to rush in all honesty. But as you can see, the, the blue has, turned out quite nice. The legs actually now look a little bit more like they should. And so after the airbrush massacre of 2019, that's what I'm calling it, I've moved back to a detailing brush and I'm just coming in here trying to add in some of the, some of the, the blues that are in her jacket, some of the, uh, the areas like her glasses and her eyes and things like that. So you're going to see me go through here and just try and add some of those details back into the model. And it's looking pretty good at this point. I mean, to my eyes at least, it could look a lot better, but it's, for me, I still think this is looking okay. And so I'm coming back in now with a dry brush, just trying to bring back some of the details that I've lost through the airbrushing. You can see me just kind of wiping it on there. Um, the brush is dry, I'm using a lighter color blue just to highlight some of those areas on the glove. And then I'll go back and I'll do some of that on the knuckles just to, to bring the knuckle back out of the, out of the, uh, the transition of the airbrush. And now for the grand reveal. Jokes aside, I'm fairly happy with how this came out. Uh, it's a little rough around the edges. You know, there's some paint that I've kind of gone over the edges. There's some areas that I've oversprayed and you know, there's, there's, I've come back with the brush, but, but I will say that kind of looking at it from a distance while it's on the shelf, I'm looking at it right now. And from a distance, while it's next to all of my other figures, you know, figures that I've collected over the years, it's not that bad, but I will openly admit it's not that great. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like on the channel. You have no idea how much those engagements really help the channel. Um, you know, just uh, leave a like, leave a comment. If there's anything you want to see, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'm trying to make more YouTube videos now, so hopefully we can keep the ball rolling. And I hope you've enjoyed it. You know, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. So take care and bye for now.